How y'all doing this evening? Yeah, good, good, good. Man, that saturation of, of prayer, it's like, woo, it's kind of like you gotta shake it. Shake yourself a little bit. Ooh, but praise God. I thank God for the privilege to stand here as always to minister his word. I thank God for the man and woman of God in this house that allows us to work out our destinies. Amen. And walk this thing out. I thank God for my husband who is able to make it today. Mm -hmm. Got off work early enough. Amen. Praise God. Amen. <laughs> yes. And that's my covering that allows me to flow and move in the calling that God has for me. So I'm going to go ahead and open up in prayer really quickly. And uh, we're going to jump right on in this word. Father God, we just thank you for this day. Father God, we just thank you for this word that you have given us now for this season. Father God, I just pray that you give us ears to hear and hearts to receive and a will to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So last week, Sunday, we entered into that new season. Uh -huh. the, uh, the new beginnings. Mm -hmm. And I'm so excited about the new. And I'm like, whew. Pastor came through with the word, and I got my notes. Let me get my glasses. And he said some things that stuck out, and I write all the time. But in this new season, one thing he said is that you cannot unlock a new lock with old keys. Mm -hmm. Talking about that new season. He also said your thinking will determine your outcome. So even though it's a new season, if you still operate in the old, uh, you may not get the outcome that you're expecting. Right. And the other thing that he said, now this is the one that got me. You can't bring in old information and get God's revelation. <laughs> Boy. He also told us, I remember he said a lot of times, uh, we can't operate on an old memo. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. So during this new season, we got to go ahead and get situated. So... When doctor asked me to minister today, I said, well, God, where, where are we at in this new season? You know, how, how what, what do you want us to do? And so I heard the word fullness. Mm -hmm. I said, fullness. I'm like, okay, so I might as well keep these glasses on. I looked up the definition and it said the state of being full. It looked like, yeah, that, that sounded about right. But he said, no, my fullness. So with that, let's go to Ephesians chapter 3. And tonight we're going to talk about how to walk in the fullness of God in this new season. Amen. Ephesians chapter 3 and 19. Let me get there. Ephesians 3 and 19 reads, And to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, that he might be filled with all the fullness of God. It said, with all the fullness of God. So mm -hmm. he's giving me this download, and I'm like, okay, God, um, what, what, what's the fullness? You're, you want us to operate in the fullness of you? So I looked up the definition of the word full, and it means containing as much or as many as possible or normal. Another meaning of fool is having all distinguishing characteristics, enjoying all authorized rights and privileges. The third one, not lacking in any essential. We, we know what that essential means. We, we heard that a lot. Essential workers, essential, essential. So to walk in the fullness of God means to walk in having all distinguishing characteristics and enjoying all authorized rights and privileges. I'm going to pause real quick and then I'm going to say it again. <laughs> to walk in the fullness of God means to walk in all distinguishing characteristics. That means you, you look like your daddy. Mm -hmm. You act like your daddy. Mm -hmm. Enjoying all authorized rights and privileges. Mm -hmm. So that means whatever your daddy got, mm -hmm. you have access to. Correct? Right. So to walk in the fullness of God means to walk in who he called you to be. And I said, okay, God, um, 
He said, and then this is the question he had. He said, who am I? I said, huh? He said, who am I? I said, God? <laughs> And you, know, and you know, you don't answer too quick when he asks you a question. So I'm like, okay. So I said, and I'm like, who are you? He says, who am I? Mm -hmm. I said, you love. Mm -hmm. So to walk in the fullness of God means to walk in love. In the full characteristics of and distinguishing having all authority and privileges in him during this new season we're going to have to walk in the fullness of god and i when he was taking me through it i'm like well ain't we supposed to be doing that anyway as covenant people right mm -hmm. yes we are but during this new season if you don't understand how to walk in the fullness you're going to be looking like you looked two years ago three years ago ten years ago because this is not the only new season that we had but see, this new season, I don't know about you, for, for what he's dealing with me, this new season is not just a season. Mm -hmm. This here is stamped and stuck. Right. This here is perpetual. Mm -hmm. This here is, for me, it's a new dimension. Right. So this new season, you're not ever going to not walk in it again. Right. So when you're walking in this new season, this new time, this new place, this new position that I have for you, you're going to have to walk in the fullness of it now right. to reap the benefits. Because see, walking in the fullness is not just for you. Oh, you thought it was just for your house? Oh, you thought it was just for your baby car? Oh, you, you thought it was for that new car? No, uh-uh. Because, see, out there, there there's a world. Yes, man. Amen. There's neighborhoods and, and territories mm -hmm. and people that are hurting, and they need to know the fullness right. of God. Ain't never been to church. Mm -hmm. Ain't trying to come to church because, you know, COVID, right. you know, big excuse. Mm -hmm. But can they see the God in you. Right. And when they see you, are they going to see the fullness of it? Mm -hmm. Are they going to see the full capacity of love? Right. Are you going to look like your daddy when you hit the streets? <laughs> Come on. We're talking about walking in the fullness right. of who God called us to be. It says not, not lacking in anything essential. Mm -hmm. Let's go to 1 John 4 and 8. I'm trying to calm myself down. Because I got excited and I said, God, I've been slipping. Because reading this, and he gave me five uh, points on this as we go into this message. He gave me five points that I should have been doing this. But see, God knows where you are. And I thank God for his grace and for his mercy and for his patience. Yes, Woo, thank you, Father. First mm -hmm. John Four and eight says, "He that loveth, not knoweth not God, for God is love." Mm -hmm. So if you don't know love, you don't know God. Yeah. And see, whew, help Lord, it's going to be kind of tight tonight. Go ahead. Um, don't the word say faith worketh by love? Mm -hmm. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait. Oh, wait a minute. That's why it didn't work. Oops. <laughs> okay, let, let's replace some stuff. Mm -hmm. Faith worketh by love. So, if we're not walking in love, right. not walking in the fullness of God, so that means God's word was true. That just means my love walk was off. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute. So I was mad at God for nothing. Yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Faith worketh by love. We're talking about walking in the fullness, and this thing hit me so hard. I'm like, God, I'm going to need you to show me how to walk this out every day because full is full. Y'all know what full is, don't you? Mm -hmm. Okay. For those on Facebook, if you don't know, full is um, dressing, yams, <laughs> macaroni that's coming up and, you know, that big old plate that you fill up yeah. and you eat all of it and you tight, <laughs> but you still just go get that potato pie. That's full. We talking about the fullness. Y'all got fullness now? All right. I had to go and put it, put it out there. We talking about the fullness. Woo. I mean, y'all know it be so tight, you be trying to squeeze that last little fork food. Like, now just imagine walking in the fullness of God, having his distinguishing characteristics, enjoying all the rights and privileges. Let me get to one of these points. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let me just flow with them. 
and they may not be in order. I'm going to give them to you, and I'm going to say what I hear. Go ahead. Number one is power. Mm -hmm. Number two is authority. Number three is dominion. Number four is transformation. And number five is mind renewal. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to give you these points, and I'll give you the scriptures that go along with them just in case, um, if time don't permit. But walking in his characteristic, he created us to dominate. Mm -hmm. Over there in Genesis 1 and 26, he said, let us create man in our image and in our likeness. Give him dominion over the fish, mm -hmm. of the sea, the fowl of the air. You know, let, let him run this here. Right. And I don't know about you, but in the natural, I look just like my dad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He can't deny me if he wanted to. <laughs> I'm talking about down to the big toe. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about to this nose, to the eyes, and you can't, mm -mm. <laughs> He can walk in here. Y'all ain't never seen him. Oh, that's, that's yeah, that's you. Mm -hmm. I remember I did that with uh, Brother Warren. I'm like, that lady sure looked like that man. <laughs> Come to find out Miss Jeanette, that boy, the A, painted in our heart. <laughs> so at this point in our walk, we should look just like our daddy. Mm -hmm. Everywhere that we go. Everywhere. Mm -hmm. Let me break it down. Your bank account should reflect your daddy. Amen. Your attitude should reflect your daddy. We're talking about the fullness now. If we're going to walk in the fullness because God is love, that means we're going to be full of love all the time. Right. Amen. Because faith ain't going to work without it. Amen. So we got to stay on full. Say, I will, I will. Stay, on full. stay on full in this new season. In this new season. Hallelujah. And the thing is, and I'm going to talk about myself, y'all, locate yourself in this. I've been missing out on some stuff because, ooh, ooh I'm going to tell, Pastor. Ooh, my love walk wasn't as tight in some areas as I thought it was. I could tolerate some people a little bit better than others. Ooh, I'm, I'm just telling it, you know. I'm in church. I lie in church. No, I'm not. Uh, when certain people came around, let, let's be, when certain church folk, I'm, I'm, I'm in the house, so let me just say, none of y'all. But I've been saved for a long time. But when church folks, you know there's a difference between Christians and church folks, right? Yeah. Believers and church folks. When church folks get on your nerves, I'm talking about you just said amen and you out in the parking lot ready to scrap. <laughs> I'm telling my heart. And I said, God, I thought I was better than that. <laughs> Have you ever, you know, get caught slipping? It's like, ooh, that was still there? Yeah. Can, can I see some? I see one Oscar. Can I see some more? Thank you. Yeah. Whoo, don't play. We're talking about the fullness. So walking in this love, he created us to dominate. He also gave us authority. Over in Luke 10, 19, he says, I give you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Power over the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. And I will sit in there, and when you think of hurt, you automatically think of physical pain. Your bank account ever been hurt? <laughs> Your pantry ever been hurt? Your gas tank ever been hurt? Yes, Lord. Mm. We talking about walking in the fullness. Nothing shall, and we look at this and we get caught on the serpents and scorpions mm -hmm. and the physical pain, not understanding if I'm walking in the fullness, I'm not concerned about that anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm not even looking for the serpents and the scorpions, let alone getting hurt because I'm walking in the fullness because I'm walking in love. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Not that tests and trials would not come, mm -hmm. but I'm walking in such a way that I'm not anticipating them because I'm full of the love of God. So when that certain situation comes at me, right. prayerfully the enemy won't find nothing in me. But love. Amen. Because we're walking in the fullness. This new season is something that we have never seen before. Jesus. Eyes have not seen. Thank you, Father. Ears haven't heard. This new season, not collectively for the body, but also for you personally. You're not even going to recognize yourself. Oh, 
my God. Hallelujah. In this new season, right. I was sharing Amen. with some sisters, and I said, God showed me a glimpse of who I was, and that sister was clean. <laughs> Woo, she was bad. Amen. And I was impressed with her, but at the same time nervous because Pastor, at this point, I looked so far away from what he showed me. So this is why now I have to walk in the fullness. Because see, if I'm walking in the fullness, insecurity can't hit me no more. Amen. So when he shows me a glimpse of who I am, and he shows boldness, and he shows me prophesying, and he shows me laying hands, intimidation, mm -hmm. and fear has nothing in me. Because see, I'm walking in the fullness of God because it's not me anyway. Right. Amen. Oh, it takes the weight off when you walk in the fullness. Yeah. Oh, my God. Because it's all God. Amen. Power. Over in 2 Timothy 1 and 7 said, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. Amen. It seems like God wants us to be strong and fearless because you don't give nobody scary power, authority, and dominion. Mm -mm. And I have run into some Barney Fife saints. <laughs> I'm a little old. But Barney Fife yeah. was a deputy on the Andy Griffin show. Had a gun and shook like a leaf. <laughs> Wasn't going to bust a grape. <laughs> Real talk. I done shook a few times since I've been saved. <laughs> Anybody else done shook? Yeah. Thank you. Quit playing. Because I didn't understand my position in him. He also said identity. I didn't understand who I was. Even though he told me in Genesis, I'm making men in my image and my likeness. Mm -hmm. Having dominion and power from the jump. Mm -hmm. The thing is, when we fail, Adam, and sin, but we just did communion Sunday, right. and we forget about the blood, right. and we forget about the cross. Mm -hmm. And then we underestimate the power of what the blood did. Right. And then before he gave up the ghost, because they couldn't kill him. <laughs> right. oh. uh -huh. He said, no man. No man. Oh, my God, it's gangster, y'all. <laughs> no man can take my life. I lay it down and I pick it up. Come right. on now. Uh -huh. Before he laid it down, he said, it's finished. Yeah. Oh, my God. And we still are walking in the fullness of it. Because we forget the love of God. This is the understanding that he gave me a pastor. You correct me. Walking in the fullness, the full love of God. The next one is transformation. And you really can put transformation and mind renewal together because that's Romans 12 and 2. Mm -hmm. It says, Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Mm -hmm. And Doctor is going to be teaching on this, so I suggest if you guys tune in on Facebook Live every Sunday at 10. Right. When he's going to be talking on mindset. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Mm -hmm. I joke with some friends that even though I'm saved, I ain't forgot the struggle. Mm -hmm. I know how to eat peanut butter and crackers. Yes. I know how to make sugar water. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? Uh, government cheese was the best cheese ever. Right. Uh, that big block in, in the paper, that butter was, was good. Ask me how I know. That's called government assistance. If you ain't never had that big brick and almost cut your hand on that knife like that, yeah. I'm saved, but I haven't forgot the struggle. It's good to a certain extent, unless you still operate in it on the consistent because you're not walking in the fullness. Whew. Let me help some of y'all out. Stewardship is great, but being cheap is another thing. Mm -hmm. I'm being frugal. Now you're being cheap. Mm -hmm. Throw them butter. <laughs> I was about to say throw them butter dishes away, but I keep the cool with containers. <laughs> he working on me. He working on me. He working on me. I ain't got the butter dishes. I'm, I'm at the cool whip. I'm at the cool whip, y'all. Woo. I'm at the cool whip containers. <laughs> I'm almost there. Because see, they got, you know, they got them at the Dollar Tree now. So I'm like, let it go. Don't save it. Let it go. 
But it's that mindset not walking in the fullness. You see how something that small? I mean, and you don't think about it. <laughs> because we operated in lack and not the fullness for so long that lack becomes the normal. Surviving struggle becomes the normal. It was good for that season. Right. But why not step over to the covenant and trust your God for a couple of dollars? They got them all day brand new at the Dollar Tree. Right. Right. To start. To start. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to go pay for it at Walmart, to start. A dollar. Right. It's simple stuff like that that we don't think about. We joke. And this is practical stuff. Me and my husband, we got our house. And we had two boxes of cereal. One was open. One was closed. But I wanted the one that was closed. It was some Apple Jacks. <laughs> and, uh, I was like, man, I want some cereal. But, you know, I want some Apple Jacks, but let me go ahead and eat this here. So I'm going to read the post. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm grown. Wait a minute. I got over two boxes of cereal in my house. I got free that day. I got free. <laughs> let, let me tell you, boy, the Apple Jacks is good. But the mindset behind it, I didn't understand why I thought that way. Right. Mama had three kids. Mm -hmm. You don't open up all the boxes here with three kids. Because right. for one, they're going to mess over it. Mm -hmm. And two, we don't know the price. Yeah. <laughs> Let me bring it to the house. We don't know the cost. Mm -hmm. Let me take it back. We don't understand the cost of the blood. Mm -hmm. When we understand the true value of it, we will stop acting wow. like we're acting. We will stop mm. yeah. We're talking about the fullness. Jesus. You told us Sunday that we be loved. Yeah. And when he walked me through this message, and I'm, I'm catching my time, he showed me his love in every area. His word said he chastens those that he loved. Mm -hmm. He so loved the world that he gave his only son. Okay. Everything he does towards us is love because that's all he is. Mm -hmm. Who wouldn't serve a God like that? Mm -hmm. And as long as we've been saved, we still question his capacity of love for us. When he already told us he gave his son. To put us back, remember we're talking about positioning, to put us back in right standing. Mm -hmm. So we can walk in the fullness. Right. Question is, why aren't we? Sometimes it's condemnation. It's the self-talk you talked about. Ignorance. Ooh, I, I, I know he'll do it for pastor, but I don't know if he'll do it for me. Comparing yourself among yourself is not wise. Mm -hmm. This is called a faith walk. Right. I got two feet. I might be able to walk beside you, but I can walk with you to a certain point. Mm -hmm. We all on the same path. Mm -hmm. Wealth and riches in every, every house. Wealth and riches is in your house. Mm -hmm. Now, whether you find it or not, right. that's a different thing. So don't come back and sit and be mad at pass away. You say, wealth and riches ain't none of mine. Did you look for it? <laughs> and see, sometimes mm, we miss it because it was in the instructions. Mm. Woo. We miss it because, <laughs> thank you, Father, it was disguised as a budget. Mm -hmm. Wealth and riches are in my house. Mm -hmm. They there. Sometimes it's in a, um, a business. And I'm speaking personally. Wealth and riches are in my house. The thing is, we get so, um, <laughs> thank you, Father. Entitled, I was going to say something else. <laughs> thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> we get so entitled that we thank God just supposed to. Yeah, you you supposed to. Well, God, you, you, you supposed to. Yeah. If you look in here, if you obey and serve me, right. that, that's some stipulation. You got to read the fine print. <laughs> Matter of fact, if we read this Bible like we read our employee handbook, we would have a lot of stuff. Amen. 
<sighs> Come on. Read that book so well at work, you wait for them to mess up now. <laughs> you owe me point five zero 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 on my check. But we pass up the covenant. Mm -hmm. Because we refuse to walk in the fullness, and that fullness simply is love. Mm -hmm. And that's what he said. He's like, it's all love. <laughs> I wish it was more complex than that, but mm -hmm. I wrote it down. He says, I'm the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. I am that I am. Within all of that, it's all love. Amen. Because it's all him. Amen. Understanding who we are. Understanding the power that he's given us. The authority. The dominion. You know you load it right. I mean, I mean, you know you load it at, at this moment. Whether you feel like it or not, you, you know you're complete, right? Mm -hmm. Even at this moment, you know you're full, right? Mm -hmm. The thing is, we haven't tapped into it. Not because we don't have it. Locate yourself. This is how we're going to walk this thing out. In this new season, specifically, say my new season. During your new season, be sure to embrace the fullness. Be sure to walk in, in the fullness, functioning totally in love. And if things aren't working out, like I said, test and trials will come. Mm -hmm. Oh, the enemy coming from this word as soon as we say amen. He coming for it. Yeah. Yeah. He, he going to test and he going to push some buttons to see. But when you know who you belong to and you know who you are, you know that you are made in his image and in his likeness, having all distinguishing characteristics. All, you look just like your daddy. Walk like him, talk like him, sound like him. It's amazing. Baby, when the older he get, he walked like you. Yeah, he, 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 he really does. I paid attention one time. I'm like, <laughs> like, wow, that is his son. <laughs> I mean, you know it, but it's like yeah. you, you never really pay attention. And if you pay attention in the natural, don't you have some of your parents' characteristics Amen. and their traits mm -hmm. and their mannerisms? Mm -hmm. Oh, but daddy died. All right. We have his traits. His mannerisms, his characteristics. Oh my God. That's why we ain't shook and we ain't moved so much when stuff happened. Right. Because my daddy don't fret. Amen. And if I don't know the answer, I just go to him. Amen. Walking in the fullness. So there's no room for insecurity. There's no room for fear. There's no room for lack because you're already full. Oh my God. Hey! When you're full, there's no room for nothing else. Jesus. I felt that thing. <laughs> so when lack try to squeeze in, uh, I'm already tight. I'm tight. I'm tight. I'm tight. I, I, I ain't got no room for lack right now. Woo. When sickness try to hit your body, I, I'm tight. I'm tight. I'm, I'm just go ahead and do these squats. I ain't got no room for no pain right now. Oh, my God. But when fear try to come in, I, I'm, I'm, whew, I'm tight right now. Because I messed around and prayed, mm -hmm. and he said I win. Right. Oh, I'm, I'm tight right now. Yeah. So when anything that tries to come at you, mm, mm -hmm. tell them you're already full. Yeah. I'm telling you, it, it's going to work. Something's going to hit you, going to be like, I'm full, I'm good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Yeah. Amen. You sure don't want nothing? No, I don't even want nothing later. I'm good. I don't even need that. <laughs> I don't even broke. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it don't taste good. I had them before. Yeah. I used to eat that all the time. Yeah, you you don't keep that. <laughs> Fear? No, I don't, I, don't, mm -hmm. I don't like that. Bitterness, resentment? No, I'm good. I'm on a diet. Mm -mm. I, don't, I don't want that. I'm, I'm full. Yeah. And I'm saying this in a joking way, but sometimes you got to do whatever you need to do to get this thing going. Amen. Amen. So I just praise God for this word. Amen. I thank God that this day that we continue to walk in the fullness. Remember those key points. Let me give you those scriptures behind it for power. 
in 2 Timothy 1 and 7, as I close, for authority, it was Luke 10, 19. For dominion, it was Genesis 1, 26. And for transformation and mindset, it was Romans 12 and 2. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a hand praise for that word. Amen. I thank God just for teaching me real simple. You know, because you know, I don't, you know, I went to culinary school. I didn't go to college, college. You know, I could cook, but you know, hey. So it is offering time. Facebook, y'all want to give? You can give on Cash App, Remnant C. You can give on PayPal, which is Remnant Church LR at Yahoo.com. And also Givelify at Remnant Church. Also, this Saturday, it's going to be tax-free, but what's better than tax-free is free-free. Right. So we are having our Remnant Church back to school free mall here. It's going to be August 7th. It's going to be 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. right here at 11715 Rainwood Road over in our youth center. We have food, bounce houses, and much more. So you might want to um, be in line at like 955, 950 for our volunteers, our dream team. We need you to be here at 8 o'clock so we can have some setup and canvassing. Amen? Amen. All right, if you have your offering, you can go ahead and stand to your feet. And the ushers. All right. I thank God for the privilege. Ooh, I'm full right now, y'all. I, I, I really am because I'm like, God, I've been slipping all this time. And I've been saved 23 years. Ooh. And I'd have missed out on some stuff because I didn't renew my mind in some areas. And I didn't walk in the fullness of everything that God has for me. But in this season, I ain't missing nothing. Mm. So I ain't no telling what y'all gonna see me walk up in here in. Wow. We might drive up in something different. You know, my hair might be a different color. You know, sister might be a couple pounds lighter. Anything can happen. You know, if, if it's new, I want all the new. You know, I'm taking all the new. Whew, whatever God wanna give me in this season, I want it all. Amen. Amen.